when Polycarp, Bishop of Smyrna, was brought before a tribunal in the 2nd century AD, the proconsul said, Swear by the fortune of Caesar. Swear, and I will release you. Reproach Christ. Polycarp responded, Eighty and six years I have served him, and he has done me no wrong. How can I speak evil of my king who saved me? I have wild beasts, said the proconsul, and will expose you to them unless you repent. Call them, said Polycarp, who, never relenting, died a martyr's death. There were three Hebrew boys, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, perhaps better known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who, like Polycarp, faced a test concerning faithfulness and worship. They refused to compromise where and when it mattered and were thrown into an inferno. The first battle in this world was over worship. Cain murdered his brother Abel because he was angry at God's rejection of his worship offering. The Bible says in Genesis 4, 6-7, So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. The last battle will be over worship as well. For it says in Revelation 14, 9-10, then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image, and receive his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God. How important that we understand the, the issues involved. As Christians, we need to know what matters and then never compromise on these things. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Juan Joseph for Victory in Jesus. And I'll see you next time as we go into the Bible verse. Thanks for viewing into the Bible verse. For immediate notification on your phone, your tablet, or laptop, remember to click or press the subscribe button below. And more importantly, click or push this bell icon. Thanks in advance for your support.